B. What's the angular velocity in RPMs, or rev per minute? Uh, I'm going to call it, uh, let's see. I'm going to say rev over minute instead of RPM. Because you want to make sure you get these units cancelled figured out right. So let's see, I've got angular velocity, it's just a conversion. Angular velocity is 0 0.714 revolutions per second. And that's times, let's see, seconds, that'd be 60 seconds per minute. And seconds cancel, I get rest per minute, so I did it right. It's going to be kind of tiny. That's going to be zero point, let's see the three sig figs, zero one one nine revolutions. I must have gone the wrong way. I'm going to divide it by 60. I have to multiply by 60. It's got to be a lot. Not that everyone's made mistakes. Nice thing about this is this tells me I can't divide by 60. I've got to multiply. So I've got point. 714 times 60 equals 42.8 42.8 revolutions per minute. One more. Let's get this in radians per second. It'd be quicker to go from, from A, but let's do it uh, off revolutions per minute so you see the full conversion. So the angular velocity is 42.8 revolutions per minute. And let's see, I need to get revolutions. There are two pi radians in a revolution. So there are two pi radians per revolution. Revolutions cancel. I got radians per minute. That's good. Now, see, I got to get rid of minutes. There's one minute for every 60 seconds. Let's see, minutes are on bottom, minutes are on top. Good. Now I've got radians per second. And we'll see what this is. Uh, it's going to be about, I don't know, 4.4 or something like that. Let's see. 42.8 times 2 times. I divided by 60, 4.48, and that's radians per second. We should do an acceleration too, right? Let's try that. Have a C, this will be D. Keep in mind for the angular velocity, and that's you've got the equation. Um, you could be given the angular velocity and the time. You could ask how many, how big an angle does it move through in that time, or, or given the time and the angular, let's see, or the, given the angular velocity and the angle it moves through, how long would it take to do that? It's just a rework in the equation. Omega equals theta over t. So let's say we go to a new angular acceleration, and uh, let's see, I'm at. I'm at 4.48 radians per second. Let's say I go to 9.48 radians per second. I'm just going to make it easy on myself. And let's say I do it in, uh, oh, in two seconds. Something accelerating. Well, keep in mind something accelerating. Like if we take this, uh, this wheel here. Sure, we measured it at a constant acceleration, but it has to slow down, it has to start. As it starts up to its, here it's going from zero to a final velocity. That's angular acceleration. And I slow it down. The faster I slow it down, the bigger the angular acceleration. It would be negative in this case, but if I take a long time to slow it down, well, first I'm going to burn my finger, but also the acceleration or deceleration is going to be lower. I wonder if that comes off. All right, so. Omega 2 is 9.48 radians per second. The time is 2 seconds. I'll remind you that the initial angular velocity was 4.48 radians per second. 
And I want to know what's the angular acceleration, which is given by alpha. And the angular acceleration, oh, we should ask for some units. Um, let's do it in revs per second squared. That way we've done another conversion. So revolutions per second squared. So first I'll do it in radians per second. I'll say the angular acceleration is omega 2 minus omega 1. The difference in the angles, that's delta omega, but I'll just figure I'll calculate it in the equation. Divided by the time, and that's going to be 9.48 radians per second minus 4.48 radians per second divided by 2 seconds. And that's going to give me, let's see, 5 divided by 2 is going to be 2.5 radians per second per second. Yeah. That's going to be radians per second squared. Now let's convert it to rest per second squared just to do one more calculation. Um, there are two pi radians in a revolution, but I need revolutions on top. So that's one revolution for every two pi radians. Radians cancel, I'll get revolutions per second squared, and I'll get, uh, let's see, two point five divided by two divided by pi I did it wrong. Two point five divided by two divided by That's going to be 0 0.398 revolutions per second squared. Is that about right? That's going to be about uh, 6, 2.5 out of 6, about 5 out of 12. Yeah, looks about right. Okay, so that's angular acceleration and angular velocity.